and welcome back to Ethereum episode 7 of the Conquest playing with the Consortium on easy and uh, we're back on the Conquest map which we're going to uh, carry out our turn on. We've got a few cards we want to play and I've had a quick look before we start and we have a Vectide Empire fleet sitting near our main planet here of Serenade but we've got two um, two fleets here with which we can attack but we also have this political card five star admiral whereby we will inflict extra damage on the ship so we're going to play that and we'll play it on, to, on this ship here so for this turn I think it's this turn only we'll inflict some extra damage so we'll attack the fleet here see if we can do it some serious damage uh, well we we'll only took one down so, hmm, nothing amazing happening there. Um, I really want to try and take it out. I'm just going to pull out another political card, see what we get for another for another uh, action point. What have we got this time? What's this? P portal instability. No fleet can l leave or move to the target planet until the start of the player's next turn. And that will cost two action points to use. So let's attack this guy again with this one this time. Nice to destroy this fleet, it really would. Oh, nice! Two, two hits. And oh, I should have perhaps used this one, then I could have flown somewhere else with this one. Yeah. Although, I think, no, we can still move, but um, that's about all we can do. So I'm going to leave them there. But I'm wondering whether to play this not the rebellion card but the portal instability so no one can move to our planet and attack it this turn i think we'll play that portal where's it gone portal instability so no one can move to our planet and attack it then we'll get this monument up next time for another another victory point we've already got 12 we only need 15 to win remember now then do i we've got a space now we've got one point left we could play the technology point card we may as well play that and then we can get our technology sorted out. Now we've unlocked so much stuff now. Um, we're soon going to have everything. What have we got in the stage 4 left to unlock? We've got... Well, I find artillery is not that useful because we tend to just try and rush the uh, AI if we can. Or build up and uh, take it out. Um, snipers. Long range infantry. No, again, not over useful I don't think. What's this? Rocket launcher vehicle. Mm, kind of. AP infantry. Now that could be useful, so we'll unlock that. Oh, we will unlock. We'll, we'll unlock the walker. We haven't seen the walker yet, so we'll unlock that. Now this is anti-tank infantry, and we've got rocket launcher infantry. We'll take the anti-tank infantry. Still got five points left. Should we get the snipers? Long-range infantry. Yeah, well, all right. Why the hell not? We'll get the snipers. Two points. We'll unlock the rocket launcher vehicle. So we've actually nearly unlocked the whole of the tech tree, not far off it. So we're doing pretty well there. Um, so we'll just go back. Now then, I think that's about all we can do then. Um, still got our two fleets. The Vectiles have been destroyed. The Intars probably will attack us, um, I imagine. Um, but we'll see. Let's end our turn and we'll see what happens. So indeed the Intars are up to something. Oh, they've moved to Resurgence, so which means they probably won't be attacking us this turn. Although, they, oh, actually, no, we have, have we got, yeah, we've got one land on there. So the Intars are launching against the Vectides and failed to take that region. And now the Vectides are going to attack the Intars in Pilo. And will they be able to get that region? Failed as well. So they always fail. I haven't seen the Vectiles win a battle yet in this uh, conquest. And they've played the cards. Oh! What happened? We got victory? I thought we had to get 15 points. Okay, well, we've, we've won, it seems. Um, we're not doing too much in that last turn. Uh, so, and a very short video this is going to be. So, technology points accumulated. Fleets lost, destroyed. Battles won. Victory points. Oh, is it 12 points you need to, for victory? I guess it is. 
Oh, no, that's a total victory. I don't quite understand that. Uh, maybe it's 12 points you need for victory and not 15, I guess. But anyway, we seem to have won. I'm not sure how in the end. But um, So that's the conquest mode in Ethereum. A very, very short video. We didn't even manage to have a battle in that last turn. But um, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, whether I do another one with the Vectiz or the Intars, fancy trying one on the Vect with the Vectiz, but put it on hard difficulty this time to make to see if it does uh, makes a lot of difference. Certainly, it'll probably make difference on the uh, maps when you're fighting the AI, but I don't know if it make a lot of difference on the actual conquest map. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to play the Intars or the Vectiz or not even to play again um, on the conquest. Um, I'll, I did do a stream the other day. I'll put some stream highlights up, hopefully, in the next couple of days on Ethereum. But thanks very much for watching, guys. I will now do a review on Ethereum because I've played well over 40 hours on this game now. I think I'm well qualified to do a decent review on this game, and I'll be putting that up in the next few days. So thanks for watching, guys. Please do comment, like, and survive. Sorry this one was so short, but I will see you in the next one.